I am continuing my reading. What I'm doing in this series is to read through the entire standard works of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This consists of the Bible, the Book of Mormon, the Doctrine and Covenants, and the Pearl of Great Price. I am reading in a chronological order of events, not according to publication or volume, so I will be skipping around a bit as I move along. So now let us return to Ether for a little while. Ether, that uh, book that takes so much time. Mm. In our timeline, quickly, Nephites and Lamanites have already divided. Ezekiel has finished his prophecies. Jehoiakim has been elevated to honors in Babylon. Daniel is still a magistrate in Babylon. And Jeremiah is probably dead. We pick this up. This is going to be 40 years after Lehi left Jerusalem is the last date we're given in any of our readings, and that was among the Nephites. So we are still in the middle of the Babylonian captivity, because the Babylonian captivity lasts for 70 years. 40 years after Lehi leaves Jerusalem is about 48 years of the captivity. So we've still got another 20 years of captivity to go. So this whole thing will be taking place. And this may have started before the 40-year mark. It's during the Babylonian captivity is when these chapters, these last chapters of Ether are going to take place. So right here, this is probably, I'm going to read this, chapter 12 is probably taking place at about the time that Nephi is building his temple. Also, this chapter is very long. I want to cut it a little bit short, so we're going to do it in two parts. This first part will read verses 1 through 21, and the second part will read 22 through 41. So let us get to it. The prophet Ether exhorts the people to believe in God. Moroni recounts the wonders and marvels done by faith. Faith enabled the brother of Jared to see Christ. The Lord gives men weaknesses that they may be humble. The brother of Jared moved Mount Zaran by faith. Faith, hope, and charity are essential to salvation. Moroni saw Jesus face to face. And it came to pass that the days of Ether were in the days of Coriantumr. And Coriantumr was king over all the land. And Ether was a prophet of the Lord. Wherefore Ether came forth in the days of Coriantumr, and began to prophesy unto the people, for he could not be restrained because of the Spirit of the Lord which was in him. For he did cry from the morning, even until the going down of the sun, exhorting the people to believe in God unto repentance, lest they should be destroyed, saying unto them that by faith all things are fulfilled. Wherefore whoso believeth in God might with surety hope for a better world, yea, even a place at the right hand of God, which hope cometh of faith maketh an anchor to the souls of men, which would make them sure and steadfast, always abounding in good works, being led to glorify God. And it came to pass that Ether did prophesy great and marvelous things unto the people, which they did not believe, because they saw them not. And now I, Moroni, would speak somewhat concerning these things. I would show unto the world that faith is things which are hoped for and not seen. Wherefore dispute not, because ye see not, for ye receive no witness until after the trial of your faith. For it was by faith that Christ showed himself unto our fathers after he had risen from the dead, and he showed not himself unto them until after they had faith in him. Wherefore it must needs be that some had faith in him, for he showed himself not unto the world. But because of the faith of men he has shown himself unto the world, and glorified the name of the Father, and prepared a way that thereby others might be partakers of the heavenly gift, that they might hope for those things which they have not seen. Wherefore ye may also have hope, and be partakers of the gift, if ye will but have faith. Behold, it was by faith that they of old were called after the holy order of God. Wherefore by faith was the law of Moses given. But in the gift of his Son hath God prepared a more excellent way, and it is by faith that it hath been fulfilled. For if there be no faith among the children of men, God can do no miracle among them. Wherefore he showed not himself until after their faith. Behold, it was the faith of Alma and Amulek that caused the prison to tumble to the earth. Behold, it was the faith of Nephi and Lehi that wrought the change upon the Lamanites, that they were baptized with fire and with the Holy Ghost. Behold, it was the faith of Ammon and his brethren which wrought so great a miracle among the Lamanites. Yea, and even all they who wrought miracles wrought them by faith, even those that were before Christ and also those who were after. And it was by faith that the three disciples obtained a promise that they should not taste death. And they obtained not the promise until after their faith. And neither at any time hath any wrought miracles until after their faith. Wherefore they first believed in the Son of God. And there were many whose faith was so exceedingly strong, even before Christ came, who could not be kept from within the veil, but truly saw with their eyes the things which they had beheld with an eye of faith, and they were glad. 
And behold, we have seen in this record that one of these was the brother of Jared. For so great was his faith in God that when God put forth his finger, he could not hide it from the sight of the brother of Jared because of his word which he had spoken unto him, which word he had obtained by faith. And after the brother of Jared had beheld the finger of the Lord, because of the promise which the brother of Jared had obtained by faith, the Lord could not withhold anything from his sight. Wherefore he showed him all things, for he could no longer be kept without the veil. That's all we're going to read now. Note that this chapter has five verses of actual history, and then the rest of it is commentary by Moroni. Somewhat annoying at times that Moroni gives us so little information about the history. I mean, his sermons and his doctrine, beautiful. I, this is one of the greatest discourses on faith in all scripture. But I'd still like to know a little bit more about Ether. I'd like to know more what he was saying. I'd like to know more what was happening at the time. But a lot of, if you're, if you're just following this and have never read the Book of Mormon, then a lot of this is going to be a preview of things to come because Moroni is making reference to many things throughout the Book of Mormon that if you're reading the Book of Mormon from first to last page, you will have read it before you read, you read this. But since I'm doing chronologically, I'm reading this first. And so this portion, but you know, Moroni's words at this point really take place much later. I just didn't really want to separate ether like that. So, Having finished reading the entirety of chapter 12, I have decided that I'm going to move the second half of this chapter later on in the timeline to the actual time of Moroni, because it actually contains a record of Moroni's life. He's inserting it into the record here. It is not part of the Jaredite story. And so I'm taking that second half, and I will read it when we come to the life of Moroni. So the next chapter, or the next video, will be in 2 Nephi. So see you there.